This is Gainesville, Florida, located here in the Sunshine State. The players are taking the field and the fans are generating some noise. With the temperatures rising, we're glad to be in the air-conditioned booth for today's game between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the Florida Gators. And here come the Gators. These SEC teams are about halfway through their seasons and they're ready to do battle. Brad Messler here, and with me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmakers. Arkansas needs to get the ball in the hands of their athletes. That means getting their running back maybe 25 or 30 touches today. If they do that, Lee, they'll take care of business. And I'd like to add one thing. Arkansas is going to win this one because of one reason their ability to run the football. That coaching staff has done a nice job of putting together an offensive line that can really open up some holes. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Kicks it off. Washington fields it in the end zone. They had nothing going for them on that kick return. Oh, you're right, my friend. And that's because of excellent kickoff cover. They'll go to work at the 15-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Jones set to go to the air, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. A big-time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with the pressure to bring down the quarterback. you got to execute in this long run of situation. Just take the snap and bring it in there. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Throws it out there, and it's incomplete. What I like about this play is that as a quarterback, you have some options as to where you can go with the ball to get the first down. Going with the shotgun here. Under heavy pressure, throws off balance, batted ball. I'll tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 48 gets it off. Number 16 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 47-yard line. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Florida comes out in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Well, I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. And down he goes. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball right around midfield. The Razorbacks bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. And 
the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 10 boots it way up there. Number 32 calls for the fair catch. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Arkansas comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. Looks down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. Arkansas in a four-wide set. Jones with the give. And they make the stop. That's a three-yard pickup. In order to make this third down, you've got to be conscious of that first down line. Third down and seven. Ball on the 12-yard line. Arkansas going with the power eye. He drops back. Looking. He's going right. Got it. They'll bring him down. On third and long, they get the first down, but was it close? Close or not, what a relief it is to the quarterback to have a new set of downs to work with. I tell my quarterback to look off the safety, throw it downfield. They'll line up in the power eye. Back to pass. He's looking, rolls right, throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly, pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. The Gators line up with six defensive backs. Again with a carry. Got some open field. Tackle. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I agree with you. He's such a natural runner. In this situation, you got to trust the quarterback's decision making. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Howard is the deep back. They line up in the eye. Steps up. He throws it. And it's caught. Brought down. Didn't get anything. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. So it's second and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Howard lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Nice play fake. He rolls left. Throws this one out to the left. They'll bring him down. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. I throw the ball quickly, and maybe the receiver can break a few tackles. You never know. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They go with the run. And they make the stop. And it looks like he got the first down. I'll tell you what, Brad, that is very close. I didn't think he was going to make it there, Coach. Kirk, I agree with you 100%. I thought he was stopped short, too. This kid shows some real determination on that run. The option might be a good call here. Just don't turn the ball over on a careless pitch. High formation here. Jones, options out to the right. And they hit him in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Well, this offense is trying to establish the option game, but right now there's nothing there. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it. Arkansas lines up in the power eye set. And he's tackled. The back gets three on the carry. They may be expecting pass here. So maybe a little sneaky draw play might work. They'll look from the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Just an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. I'd run it here. If you can run the ball successfully, the passing game will open nicely. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 48 boots it way up there. Number 16 fields it at the 19. He spins. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. 
They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. Florida in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Number 12. Back in the gun. Back to pass. It's deflected. And it's knocked down. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 24. They'll work from the shotgun. He's looking down the middle. And he's taken down. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 10 gets it off. Number 32 takes it at the 33. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Excellent field position to start the drive. Arkansas lines up in a shotgun set. Here he goes. Shoots. They'll bring him down. Jones on the carry. 11 yard gain on the play. This is what power football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. First and 10. Ball on the 33 yard line. Power eye set. handoff and down he goes an enormous run you're right that was big and very close to being a score here you get a chance to see the speed that we've been talking about all week yeah this kid's got some wheels beautiful wheels this is awfully close as long as you don't make any mistakes you can come away with some points preferably a touchdown they line up in the red zone for the first time today. Howard gets the call. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Arkansas. Coach, they didn't seem to have much trouble finding the end zone on that run. Look, I tell you, these guys can run the football against their defense. Look at that. That's beautiful. You think I'd want you to go for two here? Uh-uh. No way. And he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number five, has it at the five. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll set up shot at the 20. First and 10. The Gators come out showing three wide. Here's a pitch left side. He spins around. Tackle. Nine yard pickup. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 29. They're crowding the line. And he's stopped behind the line. 
Anytime a defense has their safeties coming up making plays behind the line of scrimmage, that tells the offense they've got to start throwing the ball downfield to keep them honest. Third and four. Ball on their own 26. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Over the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 10 gets it off. Number 32 fields at the 40. Fumble, loose ball. I run the misdirection counter. Play with the defense a little. They'll take over at the 48. On the ground with the tailback. Gain of nine. I'd run the counter and play with the defense a little bit. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 43. They're lining up in the 5-2. He can scoop. He broke his ankle. There's a missed tackle. And he's tackled. And what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win, 8-40. Now that's fast. Non win aided. What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. This is what power football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. The Razorbacks line up in the power eye formation. And down he goes. Two yard pickup. The draw play is a simple trick play. You're telling the defense that you're going to be passing the ball. And then, pow, you hand it off and ch -ch -ch -ch. See you, sweetheart. Jones lines up in the shotgun. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The quarterback draw not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all in that play. Third and nine. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Gators bring in their dive package. He drops back. Looks. Here they come. He gets rid of it. Complete. Brought down. And we got an injured player on the field. Yeah, I think he's hurt his arm or shoulder on that play. But I don't think it's too bad. If you don't think you can make a first down in this situation, you might as well not show up for the game. And don't forget to lead block. You're absolutely right. Listen to this place. And they make the stop. And that keeps the drive alive on that fourth down conversion. How about the call there by the offensive coordinator and great execution up front by the offensive line. An option run here would be perfect. You just got to make sure not to turn the ball over when you're in scoring position. Arkansas lines up in the power eye set. Jones running the option. Now he pitches it, breaks one. He broke his ankle. And down he goes. And they pick up nine there. Here's what I do. I get the ball of my hat back and let him run in for a score. So this crowd is... And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yep, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. This one's simple. Kick the PAT.
And he tacks on the extra point. Over six minutes remain here in the second quarter. And the score, Arkansas 14, Florida nothing. Number 55 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number five has it the five. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before. Exactly. It was three out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap. They'll go to work at the 23. First and 10. Number 12 is back in the gun. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. The Gators line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They came with a blitz that time, guys. Yes, they did. And let me tell you, when you've got guys coming at you like this, it's hard to stay composed in the pocket. He's lucky that wasn't a turnover. And the defense outnumbered the offensive line. They got good pressure. Let's give credit to that linebacker for coming up with a big sack. Third and 14. Ball on the 19. The Razorbacks bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Fires deep down the left side. It's dropped. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. They send out the punting unit. Number 10 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 32 fields it at the 35. Spinning. Broke away from one. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. This is what power football is all about. You've got to be able to run between the tackles. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Powers over the inside handoff, and he's tackled. Nothing going on that one. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. They'll work from the shotgun. Jones on play action. He steps up. Here comes the pressure, and they get the sack. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. Six DBs in the lineup. Jones back to pass. Rolling out to the left side. Going deep on the left side. Got it. He's all the way down to the 15. That's how you get a first down, coach. They took a risk and went for the long ball. And pointed it pay off. Excellent play call. When you can smell the end zone, you know you're right there. Now smelling it and tasting it are two different things. You've got to be able to taste the end zone because it means six points. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. They run a counter. He breaks free. And they make the stop. You know what? The kid just broke 100 yards for the day with that run, guys. I pitch it to my back and have him turn the corner. Remember, you only have to break the frame of the goal line to get six. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Howard will try to lift side. They'll drop him for a loss. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. I let my offensive line make a statement here with a touchdown run.
This crowd is almost shaking the stadium. He's hit, got away. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense held strong on that play. They sure did. They're playing some intense football out there now. Let me tell you one thing. I keep the ball on the ground right here and let the kid fight for the first down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Jones back to throw. Steps up. He's looking. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach if that had been an interception. It's up, and he missed it to the right. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Number 12 has five receivers lined up here. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle, it's intercepted. And down he goes. Looks like the quarterback was rattled by that pressure. Now let me tell you, the best ones will sit there and take a hit and make the throw. This kid's got to stand there if he wants those passes completed to his team, not the other. Red zone play is crucial to winning and losing. As a coach, I'm concerned about not turning the ball over here because that means taking points off the board. Jones drops back. Throws this one out to the left. And he's tackled. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Razorbacks come out of the power eye. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. You got to come away with a touchdown here. You don't want to settle for a field goal. And this place is rocking. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Left way sure did play. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stuffed it. The big picture is to come away with some points. Now, if you can get a touchdown on this one, then that'll take care of the big picture right here. And this crowd is going crazy. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. I keep it on the ground with an option here. I let my quarterback make the decision to keep it or pitch it. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Here's the option. They'll bring him down. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. The crowd really making it difficult. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Arkansas is ready to kick it away. Number five and number 35 deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 35 fields it at the nine. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. The Razorbacks line up with six defensive backs. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. It's deflected. 
Great defensive play by the quarterback. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22. The Gators come out showing three wide. He drops back. He's going right. Got it. And he's brought down. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Arkansas may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out to 44 defense. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and 10, ball on the 46. Arkansas puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Looks, throws this one out to the right. Brought down. Florida takes a timeout. Third down and short. This is the fifth play of this drive. Florida lines up in a goal line set. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. He's knocked out of bounds. That will be enough for the first down. When you talk about a sharp pass, that was a nice throw right there. Kirk, wasn't that a nice catch? And this is the sixth play of the drive. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's under pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Florida calls a timeout. It's second down and a long ways to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Five wide. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Sheds that one. Big opening. And he's taken down. Arkansas takes a timeout. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They come out in a five wide set. Drops back to pass. Pumps one, throws. He caught it for the touchdown. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy slinging the ball all over the field out there. And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Florida to kick. Kicks it off. The sails out of bounds, and that'll be a penalty. Here's the call from the referee. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. You don't see that many kickoffs go out of bounds. That ball just came off his foot all messed up. We'll see if he's going to make a habit of that. They'll get the ball here at the 35. Jones has four receivers lined up here. Jones on first down. Throws this one out to the right. It's deflected. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting... Two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. 
Arkansas comes to the line with three wide. High snap as he works from the gun. He's looking. He's going right. Incomplete pass. Hicks, the intended receiver on the play. I'd come out throwing here. You know you've got a ways to go for the first, so i just approach it like any other play. From the gun. Rolling out to the right side. Looks. Throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they continue to struggle with a passing game, and now it's fourth down. He didn't complete a single pass on his drive. And you've got to wonder if the coach is starting to lose confidence in this young man. He's got the arm to succeed at this level, but you've got to wonder about his composure right now. Number 48 gets it off. <laughs> Number 16 takes it to 25. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Right, let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. Number four is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Up the middle with a fullback. And he's tackled. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Arkansas 17, Florida 7. Arkansas will be kicking off to start the second half. Number five, back to return. Here's the kick. Number five takes it at the eight. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 21-yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Got it to his receiver. Brought down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Florida comes out with three receivers but They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 33. Number 12 with three wide receivers. He drops back. Looking. He gets rid of this one. How about that defensive call? I love this call because you don't want the quarterback to get too comfortable back there. He'll tear you up. Third and ten. Ball on their own 33. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He's under some heat. He's looking for his man. Someone got a hand on him. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 10 gets it off. Number 32 fields it at the 26. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. In this situation, you've got to trust the quarterback's decision-making. They'll take over at the 34. The Razorbacks line up in an I formation. Jones drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. And down he goes. They got four yards on that one. Game of four. I run the misdirection counter and play with the defense a little. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 38. The Razorbacks go with the eye formation. Spin move. Tackle. And he picks up great yardage on the run. Yeah, and it looked like everybody else was in slow motion on that run. Boy, this kid is fast.
The draw play is a simple trick play. You're telling the defense that you're going to be passing the ball. And then, pow, you hand it off and... Ch -ch -ch -ch. See you, sweetheart. Arkansas comes out of the shotgun. And they make the stop. And the halfback carry for a pickup of three. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. The second down and seven to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. High formation here. Howard, the ball carrier. Brought down. About seven yards on that carry. I'd run the option in this short yard situation. If you get the first with your quarterback, you're going to hold on to the ball. Don't even think about pitching it. The Razorbacks line up in the power eye formation. Jones options out, and down he goes. Jones on the run. No game on the play. I'd run it right at him here. If you don't think you can make a first down in this situation, you might as well not show up for the game. And don't forget your lead block. You're absolutely right. And they're going to go for it. Has some daylight. They'll bring him down. An option run here would be perfect. You just got to make sure not to turn the ball over when you're in scoring position. They're in the red zone where last night they came away with only a field goal. They'll lose yardage on that quarterback keeper. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Getting into the backfield, breaking up that play. I'd run an option here. When you're this close to the end zone, it's hard for the defense to key on any one guy. Howard lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Jones on the option left side, and they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play up. I like this play right here, and I'll tell you what. It's a long yarded situation. And this pass play allows your players the ability to convert the first down. The Razorbacks come out in the shotgun. Jones steps back to pass, rolls to the right. Scrambling around, and he shoved out of bounds. Seven yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. Bring out the kick team. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. The kick is up. And it's right down the middle. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Arkansas lines up for the kickoff. Short kickoff. Number 35 takes it to 12. Spins up field. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to. They're going to do the same. Move. Brought down. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 26. Arkansas put six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. And he got stopped before he even got started on that thing. That defense had to rise on that kid the entire time. Whoa. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Arkansas lines up in a dime defense here. Pressure coming. Wants to throw outside. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. <laughs> the 
They come out in a punt formation. He gets it away. Number 32 fields it at the 34. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. I'd run the misdirection counter and play with the defense a little. They'll start this drive at the 39. They'll work from the shotgun. He breaks free. They'll bring him down. The halfback rips off a nice gain there to get him the first. Yeah, this guy's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. This option could be successful if the defense over pursues and is too aggressive. It's first and 10, ball on the 42. The defense lines up with six DBs. Here's the option. And they hit him in the backfield. Good play by the defense to break up the option before it could get started. I'll tell you what, the quarterback has to be more decisive than that. Either get it to the back on the outside or take the ball, find a seam, and cut it upfield. Arkansas lines up with three receivers. Jones hands off on the delay. He's hit and got away. And they make the stop. They get a good seven yards on that one. I chucked the ball up here in this situation. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 39. The Gators bring in their dive package. Jones drops to throw. Rolls to the left. And he's hammered as he lets it go. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Not a good situation here, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I say just go out there and have some fun. Look for them to go to the air here. Drops back to pass. Someone got a hand on it. They stop them on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut them down. They'll set up shot at the 39. Florida comes out in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, looks. Across the middle, got it to his receiver. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Second and one. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Gators set up in the gun. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Third down and short. Ball on the 49. The Gators come to the line with their jumbo package. And he's taken down. Good run there. That time he gave it to the fullback and he pounds it in there for a first down. Well, give an assist there to the offensive line. They gave him a good push up front. First and 10, ball right around midfield. The Gators come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time. Getting a hand on the football. It's second down and ten to go. Ball right around midfield. Florida goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. Brought down. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. From the gun. Takes off a tackle. And down he goes. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Controlling the line of scrimmage is crucial here. Inside handoff, and he's taken down. The running back gets the first. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. The Gators set up in the gun. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Arkansas 20, Florida 7. First and 10, ball on the 37. Florida comes out with three receivers bunched. Wants to throw outside. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. And they make the stop. That's a gain of eight. Number four, alone in the backfield. They'll try to get the first on the ground. And down he goes. They convert the third down with that short run. First and 10. This is the 11th play of this drive. Arkansas has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. He drops back, wants to throw outside. It's deflected, and that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Uh, nice job to knock that one away, guys. I think that's a poor pass. If he'd have got a little more zip on that thing, the defender wouldn't have been able to knock it away. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 26. Arkansas brings in their nickel package. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. Again, they're going for it on fourth down. They got to go for it on this fourth and long. Here we go. Look, under pressure. And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. That was a calculated risk there, don't you think? Yeah, I think it was. Sometimes you have too much confidence in your offense, and it cost them there as they turned it over on downs. As a coach, you love missing. In this case, if the slot guy is covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. They line up in an eye. Jones drops back on first down. Wants to throw outside. Brought down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. This option could be successful if the defense over pursues and is too aggressive. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Jones on the option. 
tackle. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. One yard game on the play. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. The Razorbacks come out in a shotgun. Throw. And it's caught. And they make the stop. That last pass got him only a yard. One yard game on the play. They may be expecting pass here. So maybe a little sneaky draw play might work. Third and eight. Ball on their own 46. Arkansas comes out in the shotgun. And now he's got room to run. A little juke. They'll bring him down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Flipping on the offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they can just keep their concentration. They'll avoid situations like that. 30-14 coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Jones with three wide receivers. Bad snap from center. Across the middle. Batted ball. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. Well, I wouldn't try anything dumb here. You got to play field position game. They send out the punting unit. He gets it off. Number 16 takes it at the 23. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 29-yard line. And they have three bunched. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. The Gators line up with three receivers bunched. Throws it to the outside, and it falls incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 35. Arkansas brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. They come out in a punt formation. Number 10 gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 48. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. Jones tosses from left side, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Great pursuit by the defense to stop the outside run. Yeah, and the halfback was trying to get to the corner, but he had no luck at all there. I'd sell the pass here, and then I'd hand it off to my halfback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball right around midfield. Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs, and he's taken down. He picks up a yard on the play. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down there. I just throw the ball down the field. Eh, maybe you'll get lucky. Florida brings in their nickel package. Jones set to go to the air. And got it complete. A little shake and bake move. And that tackle's going to save them six. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. I like running here in this situation. It's a safer play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19. 
The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. They hand it off. And he's tackled. The running back gives him six on the ground. When you're this close to scoring a touchdown, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football. Power eye set. Another run. Brought down. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. You know, being able to convert these short guarded situations will drive the defense insane. They can't hear a thing down there. Howard gets a ball left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Here the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. Call on the kick team. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. It's up. And it sails through the upright. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 55, ready to kick. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number five, has it at the five. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. The Gators line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. Can't wrap him up. They'll bring him down. Four yards gain. Gain of four. Second and six. Ball of the 29. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws short. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. Five wide. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got it! Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Down the middle. Complete. Tackle. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. The Gators set up in the gun. Steps up. Wants to throw outside. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Short toss. And it's caught. And he's tackled. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Throws this one out to the right. Couldn't haul it in. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. And a look at our old spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. They need a conversion here. He steps up, throws short, complete. They'll bring him down. 
How amazing is that completion? Wow. What I'm wondering is what the heck is the defense doing on that play? From the gun. Back to pass. Looking. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. Short pass there, and they get a moderate game. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond him down the field. Second down and five. Ball on the 17. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Drops back to pass. He's under pressure. He's looking. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So he's sacked by the senior at linebacker. Sometimes the quarterback just needs to throw it up and have faith in his receivers. He just held on to it too long. Yeah, but if he just throws it up there, an old free safety's waiting to catch it. <laughs> Third and nine coming up, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. Florida comes out with three receivers bunt. He drops back. Across the middle. Got it. Touchdown, Florida. And the wideout hauled it in for the score. Boy, the quarterback really put that one on the money, didn't he? up in a jumbo set here. Back to pass. Go into the end zone. And they get the two. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Arkansas 23, Florida 15. And it looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. With the onside kick. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. And off to the fullback. And down he goes. Florida calls a timeout. You got the lead and the ball, so I would just give it to that halfback and have him run right at this defense. Jones, hand it off, brought down. Florida takes a timeout. You gotta play it safe here and keep running the football. Third and four, ball in the 46. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop, and not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. to come here, folks. Drop back to pass. Looks. He rolls out to the left. Throws to the middle. And he's taken down. That play could not have come at a better time. That was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. Yep. The defense thinks they got him right where they want him. And then, whoosh, first and ten. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Arkansas really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2005. The final count in this one, Arkansas 23, Florida 15. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long.